Well, Coach, a doubleheader sweep over Towson. You got some great pitching performances. The offense also came alive, especially in the second game. Just what did you see from the team overall? I saw in the, in the first game, um, we got the timely hit from Trippy when we had to have it early in the game, and then Olivia settled in and then pitched a nice game to, you know, to uh, to get the win. Uh, played some good defense, um, and uh, I just I just liked the way that we we played under a little bit of pressure in that first game. In the second game, we just got some key hits early in the game, and it kept hitting. And um, I think the best part of that second game was that Aaron Wade coming into the fifth inning and really threw the ball well. So for us, that's very, very important. What does that mean for Aaron's confidence going forward? You know, Aaron's a senior. Aaron's been there. Aaron's been throwing for a long time. She's a tremendous team player. She is, uh, you know, working hard with everyone on the team. She comes to practice every day and has great bullpen workouts. And all we had to do was take those bullpen workouts to the you know, to the field, which is what we did today. And to see her throw the way that she threw, she had some great spots against some very good hitters, and it was very encouraging to see her throw the way she threw today. I feel very, very happy about that. You talked about the pitching and you talked about the hitting, but there's also some really good defensive plays, especially Michelle Lavanino's running catch in left field. Just when you're getting defensive plays like that, it seemed like a very complete game overall. Yeah, and, and you know, she made that fence and it, it was fearless. In other words, she knew the fence was there. She knew she was going to run into it. But, <coughs> excuse me. But, but she still concentrated on the ball and she still made the play, and that's the key. Um, when you have a fearless team playing hard out there, um, they're really not afraid of anything, and, and you know that was you know proof that uh, she she can make the play under pressure, okay, with the fence coming right up on her. So it was great to see. And Olivia Galati now with 22 straight wins, she uh, sets a new school record in that category. And but, but two different games, you know, she kind of not that she struggled in the first game, but there were some rallies that she had to get out of. Second game a little bit more smoother. So you saw her pitch against two different circumstances, and just what did you see from her? Which is exactly right, where you know she had two two different circumstances going on in that first game um she looked a little tight today and and it, it could have been the weather it could have been you know the dampness here that's in the air where she just couldn't get loose to really get on time and get fluid and spin the ball and have that ball slip out of her hand rather than having that ball being tumbled out of her hand um, she had command uh, she hit her spots but she didn't have her uh, hit her spots with a with real good movement that she's had before but we got the, the questionable call over third base, and it led to the bases loaded situation with a one out. Um, she came up with some great pitches in the clutch. After she gives up that home run, she comes you know, right back, retires the side. Just what does that speak about her you know, character and her, her ability to bounce back after she gives up a hit like that? You know, and, and, and that's something that uh, you know, maybe a couple of years ago she might have given another one up. But she's really learned how to compete. She's really learned how to bear down. She knows if she misses one pitch on a hitter and the hitter take, you know, takes her deep, that she can now bear down on the next hitter. She has amnesia. She just let it go, and she, you know, she keeps working real hard at getting the next hitter out, hitting her spot getting back into that tunnel vision that you have to have with her catcher and she really you know bore down and got some great pitches on some very good hitters and speaking of her catcher Courtney Cruz usually gets on base by getting hit by a pitch and uh, singles and working the count today she gives you a big three run home run in the second game man I tell you I, I wanted to hug her as she came around third base because you know she works so hard she takes a beating behind the plate she's been struggling a little bit at the plate you know just a little bit out of time swing is good but she's a little bit out of time getting a little anxious in there getting of the uh, you know pitch a little bit and on the front side but uh, today she stayed back on that one and, and really squared it up and I'll tell you not only was it a big hit but it was a big hit for Courtney.